Hello, my family and friends. I thought I would do a little bit of an update. We've been working on the garden spot and it is coming along. And this morning we got out here early before it got windy and got a bunch of work done. So I'll show you what we've done. Today we're breaking ground on the garden. So we're gonna disc it and then rake it and then cover it. <laughs> Pieces of wave will be silly. water it and then we'll carpet and then let it sit for I don't know three to four weeks kind of depends on the temperature and then we'll pull it back we'll keep pulling back and checking it and once we see everything is dead and a bunch of little sprouts are dead then we will disc it again water it again and cover it again so we're just trying to uh, kill all the vegetation so that we don't have to fight weeds to that. Anyway, pretty exciting. Our tarps come today and our high tunnel comes today. So first of all, notice the clampet pile is gone and our high tunnel is here. So we got it um, a couple days ago and we've, we still have to, we'll, I'm still going through it. I mean, there's, there's so many parts and this is going to be a much bigger job to put up than our previous high tunnel but i th i think we're going to absolutely love this high tunnel so anyway there's uh, a bunch of the parts and i just realized the door's open over there which i should do something about okay pete finished this up today and it looks gorgeous it's actually it's not it's not actually very deep it's maybe four inches or so but it's uh it lightened it up and, and we'll be adding compost to it too, but uh, it's looking pretty good. We're gonna smooth it out and rake it and water it and tarp it. I got a new chicken feed and I am absolutely in love with it. It is, it is just beautiful. It is full of grains and peas and it has some pellets and my chickens absolutely love it. So I'm pretty excited about it. Pete disked this all up the other day. And this morning, our silage tarps came. And this morning, we got out here and put our silage tarps down. So we've got about, uh, I don't know, maybe 70 uh, bags. They're, they're gravel bags. They're not sandbags. They're gravel bags. And we're gonna see how we do and we might have to make some more but the bags are super cool got these from grower solution and no not grower solution sorry farmer's friend and you fill up that end and tie it and then it's got a handle and they're long and they're amazing they're a little bit expensive but they're really amazing and so we put some hose out here on it too because of course we're worried it's gonna blow away but so far, looks pretty good. Anyway, we're pretty excited. It'll be here for three to four weeks. Um, and then we'll pull it up and take a look at it and possibly disc again or till. We're, t we're thinking about buying a, a small tiller that goes behind the tractor because it's, a tiller is just so much more precision. And I don't know, it's, we can't hire anybody to till something as narrow as we want and, and it's such a small space. So uh, for you know somebody with a big tractor and tiller, so anyway, but we're making progress and we're also making progress on our house. Well, we aren't, but the, the builder is. And so we are almost ready for foundation. So the foundation might get poured this next week, but this is the most amazing foundation I've ever seen. It is just, there's rebar everywhere. They leveled all the rebar. It's way down inside the trenches. It is pretty cool. So now we can start to see, so this is our front porch because you can see they've got the, um, because it has to be a little bit lower and also it's sloped. And then our back patio is over there. And anyway, so it's coming together. We've got still some, we've got to do rough electrical because we have a, a floor plug in and it's a slab. So that sleeve has to go in for that. And then they have to put sleeves in for plumbing, but then they'll be ready to pour it. And that's going to be quite exciting. So that's about it. Just a quick little update, but we are 
we're working on it. We're making progress. And um, now the progress on under the tarps is, is really no work for us because we just wait and then check it. Um, but I'm gonna, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to figure out a way to get my tomato seeds and pepper seeds started the beginning of January, even though I yeah, had no space. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna wing it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something. I'm not so worried about sprouting because I've got heat pads for that. But once they sprout, they need to be someplace that's uh, pretty warm. And our house is tiny, so there's really no space in there. And the cat would just dig them all up. Um, but I think we're gonna, we're still gonna try to get some garlic in because we have garlic, seed garlic from last year's harvest and I don't want it to go to waste. So I did put shallots in and um, I don't know, we'll kind of see how it goes, but I'm trying to get some little spaces up and going and uh, just so we have food next year. It's it's weird not having fresh produce uh, in the winter time because we're, we're accustomed to it because of the high tunnel. And um, I, you know, I haven't, I haven't bought produce in like three and a half or four years and it's really weird buying it i don't like it i mean we bought carrots at costco and and i mean you know costco's produce is pretty dang good and they're organic but oh my god my carrots are so much better i just i've gotten so accustomed to having really fresh food picked at the right time and there's a really big difference in the taste so anyway but that's okay we'll make it through this and uh at least sometime in the summertime we'll start having some some fresh things and that'll be really nice so that's all we got going on um hope i'll talk to y'all soon harrison and ajan i hope you're doing really good ajan i hope you are feeling good and not quite so tired um and uh Gigi and tony i hope you're having a blast with your snacks and love you all talk to you soon